determine the form of bilinear transformation for fixed points. Now here fixed points are given to us and we have to determine what kind or what form of bilinear transformation would be. So the first question is, what is the form of bilinear transformation which has one fixed point alpha and other fixed point infinity? So two fixed points are given to us. One is finite and the other is infinite. So we are going to use the conditions for these fixed points to determine the form of bilinear transformation. Okay, and in the second question, what is the form of bilinear transformation if infinity is the only fixed point? And then here also, we are going to use the condition for only one infinite fixed point. And from there, we can get the kind of the bilinear transformation for this condition. So the first one is, it is given to us for two fixed points. One is finite and other is infinite. If you remember the quadratic equation of z, that is cz square plus d minus a into z minus b is equal to 0. For this quadratic equation in z, we can get the conditions for the two fixed points as c equal to 0 and a is not equal to d. You can also check the previous content about the fixed points of bilinear transformation for this. So from there you can get all the conditions that are explained in details. So here for two fixed points, one finite and one infinite, the condition is C equal to 0 and A is not equal to D. For the bilinear transformation, AZ plus B over CZ plus D. So for these fixed points, putting C equal to 0 over here, I get A over D into Z plus B over D. Please mark this as 1. Now as alpha is the fixed point, then for the fixed point, W is equal to Z. And because alpha is the fixed point, then taking W equal to Z equal to alpha. So putting alpha over here in place of W and also putting alpha in place of Z as it is a fixed point. So this is A over D into alpha plus B over D. Please mark this as 2. And then we are going to subtract these two equations. We get W minus alpha is equal to this A over D will get common. So we get Z minus alpha into A over D and this will go. On subtraction. So subtracting 2 from 1 we get w minus alpha is equal to a over d z minus alpha which is of the form w minus alpha is equal to just take this as lambda into z minus alpha where this lambda is a over d. So this is a required form of bilinear transformation. Second, to determine the bilinear transformation if fixed point is infinity only. So for only infinite fixed point, we have the condition C equal to 0 and A minus D equal to 0. That is A is equal to D. Consider the bilinear transformation again. AZ plus B over c z plus d and now putting c equal to 0 over here i get w equal to a over d into z plus b over d also because a is equal to d so just putting a equal to d over here so i get this and this becomes z plus b over d and this kind of transformation is nothing but the form is translation transformation. Okay, thank you.